Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. I said throw down, boy. We're back. Mitchell Griffith here with Griffith Goods and Spirits. Whoo! And today, we're doing the legendary story of Wyatt Earp and the OK Corral. That's right, we're doing Tombstone and Tombstone. I'm your huckleberry. We're gonna swap it up a little bit this week. While the pizza's cooking, I'm gonna talk to y'all all about beer. Let's get this pizza started. All right, now let's talk about beer. Oh my God. My favorite thing about beer is it's just like movies. We've got all kinds of different genres, whether it's stouts, sours, lagers, IPAs, domestics, locals, and everything in between. You can pair pizza with IPAs or lagers, hit a dessert up after you get it, get some chocolate cake and a nice stout. Sours are great for sitting out in the summertime, as well as session IPAs. All beers are great, as long as you like to drink them. Isn't that a daisy? Well, I guess now we wait. Uh, Alexa, play. Cheers. Do you want some pizza? Do you want a snack? He's excited. Well, we just pulled our pizza from the oven, tossed a little Parmesan and some uh, red pepper on there, and well, you're ready to go. That's it. Welcome to family dinner. Have a good one. See you on the next episode. Johnny, I apologize. I forgot you were there. You may go now. All right, now that was a fun bit, but Let's do this for real, the Griff Goods and Spirits way. We've got Spicy Pickle Monster by Prairie Artisan Ales. Love it, super weird, super funky. If you like pickle, you'll love it. If you don't like pickle, you'll love it. And then what we've got is a fresh pizza dough here, courtesy of Tim's Pizza East. If you live in Northwest Arkansas, hit them up. It's the best pizza you can get. They were kind enough to give me some of their dough I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this out, but be careful not to tear your pizza dough. So, we've got a good rim here. What we're gonna do is now hit it with a little bit of sauce. If you want to know how we do our sauce, you'll have to follow us on Patreon, where we add all of our fun extra recipes that don't end up making it in the videos. You're gonna wanna apply this a little bit lightly, because you don't want your pizza dough to be super soggy. You want it to be able to have a good amount of sauce, but not so much that it soaks through the pizza dough. We'll go ahead and give that just a good run around. Now, what we're gonna do is I have a little bit of roasted garlic here that I'm just gonna drop over the pizza. Just to give it a little bit of extra flavor as well as our sauce. And all I did was just hit this in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. So we've got that going down. We've got, we've got our olive oil here. Just gonna give it a little run around. Now, what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna do pizza two ways. I've got some fresh mozzarella here that I'm gonna lay down on this side of the pizza. We love making pizza here, because who doesn't love pizza? Now, there's one side of it, and then here, I've got a little bit of chopped fresh mozzarella that we're gonna add on this side. I'm gonna toss on some of these fresh cut deli pepperoni slices on my side, and then 
I'm gonna add a little bit of caramelized onion. Doc, been hitting awful hard, haven't you? Nonsense. I've not yet begun to defile myself. Our pizza stone is already preheated. What we're gonna do is just brush this crust with a little bit of butter, just to give it a little extra flavor to it as well. Now that we've gotten our crust nice and buttery, instead of having to use a pizza peel, what we're gonna do is just pull our pizza right off our baking sheet, and then we're gonna toss it right back in the oven. Now we wait. After about 15 minutes in the oven, our pizza's done. The way that you'll know that your pizza's done is if your cheese has started to blister here and your crust is nice and crunchy. We've got another beer here, all day vacay, and that's what we're about to do. Enjoy your family dinner. I want you to know it's over. Well, bye. Want to support Griffith Goods and Spirits? Well, hit us up with a like, subscribe, and click that bell in order to be notified for the next family dinner. And if you want more Griffith Goods and Spirits content, follow us on Instagram and Patreon for stuff like cocktail hours, live shows, and recipes that don't make it in the videos. 500, must be a peach of a hand. Coming up this week, we're gonna have a giveaway with one of my personal favorite cookbooks and an invite to our live happy hour. Tag two friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll choose a winner this Monday. We're back.